Chapter 2 The Web Editor of the IP Control Center To open the regular IPCC Web Editor, the currently valid IP address and a standard browser is required. You can find a list of successfully validated browsers in the Application Program Description, APB. On the URL line, you have to enter the IP address of the IP Control Center plus extension editor PHP. Then hit the return key to open the editor. Since we have omitted a password, we can confirm the login page directly and get to the home page of the IPCC web editor. First of all, set the language, if it is not already the correct one. At the moment, three choices are available. German, Spanish and English. After a language change, the IPCC needs a restart. Next, the OPC data file that you have created in ETS before must be imported. This data file serves on the one hand for replacing the short text labels of the 250 communication objects that you have already activated by ETS download and on the other hand for extending the number of available group addresses by up to 1000 to obtain more functionality. Under File, ESF Import the file browser of the commissioning PC is opened. After you have confirmed an info dialog about character code setting and text labels of the objects and group addresses. Navigate to the directory where you have saved the OPC file before. Select it and click on Open. The upload is now running. The following possible warning about the checking of the data point types must also be positively confirmed. After this import, the group addresses will be displayed in the folder Objects as a tree structure. Hint: To achieve more free memory, remove the sample project or at least the unused parts of it. Remove means config restore defaults editor and smart Wizu. We recommend, however, to make a backup before, so the project can be re-imported later and used again. This image shows the complete user interface of the web editor. At the top you find the menu bar. Here all configuration settings must be made. Below the menu bar you find the toolbar with the most important functions for the project administration and design. The workspace for editing of the visualization is in the screen center. On the left side of the editor workspace there are the visualization pages, the communication objects or group addresses and the various display and operation elements. Following your choice, a corresponding property toolbar shows up on the right side of the workspace. Let's have a look at the menu bar. In File, New, New Pages and Virtual Objects are created. Save always saves the current page. Hint. The IP Control Center offers the option Autosave for some items. 
if any unsaved changes exist, can be checked with the green or red dot next to the version info in the lower right corner of the screen. If the dot is green, all changes are saved already. If red, project changes were made but not saved yet. Changes which will be immediately saved are new page, new virtual object and new control element. Also changes in the properties of communication objects and group addresses, for example data point types, are saved immediately. File release means the project pages are now converted into an HTML5 format and saved in the IP control center for web display. This export can be selective to single or a few pages as well. File Backup creates a comprehensive safety copy of your project, which can be stored on the commissioning PC or somewhere else. This backup files includes the current graphical project, but also the smart Visu status if it exists. Restore place the safety copy back to your IP control center. Use caution. It will delete everything that has been on the IPCC before, including the Smart Visu content. The handling of the Smart Visu editor has already been explained before. Import ESF import uploads the OPC file from ETS as we have done before. Special characters like Greek or Chinese fonts can be pre-selected. This selection, however, works only if the desired character set has already been imported before. You can do that here. Existing description texts and data point type subtypes can be optionally replaced by the ESF import. A single page with all components but without address or object links can be imported as well as exported. Verify group addresses shows the present number of already used group addresses from the maximum 1000 via OPC or ESF. Hint, this status info is also shown in the status line left corner. The number increases only after saving. Verify integrity of group addresses. Checks if data lengths of identical group addresses are different after a repeated OPC or ESF import. A changed length will not be accepted. System Reboot performs a soft reboot of the IP control center, which ends up in the log on screen. To avoid data losses, make sure to have made a project backup copy before. Exit Self explanatory. We recommend to terminate always with exit because in this case unsaved data will be detected and mentioned to the user. The backup recommendation is also here applicable. Under the tab Edit, all tools can be found to move and align the display and operation elements. Move to front and send to back repositions graphical elements relative to each other. That means if you have a separate status indication and a control button for the same function, then the button can be made transparent or invisible, but placed directly on top of the status element to control it. In this case, the control button has to be moved to the front. Select all highlights all elements on the workspace 
that means for deletion, moving or copy and paste. Unselect is the reverse operation of select all. The last four items, cut, copy, paste and delete are well known and self-explanatory. Under view, you define what you want to see or not. Toolbar, properties, pages, objects, virtual data points and components. The property views always shows and edits details of the selected item. Pages, objects, virtual data points and components provide access to all necessary elements the visualizations consists of. You have them not only in the toolbar, but also in the vertical navigation of the left sidebar. while objects, which also contain the extra group addresses, refer to the external KNX communication, the up to 750 virtual data points are used for internal purpose, such as flags or summarization results. The tab modules leads to the add-on function groups. Scheduler, Logic Control, Scene Control and Alarm Control. Logic Control comprises also simple mathematics, comparators, scene, also event control. I will show them with more details later. Configuration. Here we have seven options three languages, style for the components. We offer six different ones at the moment. The SMTP configuration. The SMTP configurations refers to the email provider's data settings and the user's email account credentials. Defaults, Restoration, Autosave on Off, Preferences and the Smart Visu Password. Restore defaults. It has three options. If it is used, the two different display options can be individually reset or both at a time. No matter what you choose, the chosen option will delete the related current projects from the editor and bring it back to the X factory state. And disable autosave refers to the automatic saving of changes in a cycle of every minute. As already mentioned before, the current saving state of the project is signalized with the red or green dot at the right lower corner of the screen. Hint: Don't forget to save your project data in short periodic intervals. Preferences. Full screen for mobile devices provides a flexible zoom with full screen display on smartphones. If this option is not used, the original page resolution will be used, which can result in poor display quality. Read requests for all state group addresses can be launched after a device reset, as well as with a page change per each new open page if ticked. The startup status polling of the 250 possible communication objects, however, is set already and only in ETS. See Chapter 1. If many group addresses are set to polling, then instead of read request on startup, which polls them all at one time with parameterized polling rate, read request on page load should be ticked. This reduces the polling telegram rate after reset because only the current page related group addresses and objects will be updated. If the IP control center has valid status values, it will not continue with polling. 
Beside the here introduced web editor, the IP control center also comprises of a so-called smart editor. This smart editor can be protected with a separate password, which is the last parameter of the config menu. I will explain the smart editor in another chapter. The tab help has a link to the Siemens Gamma Download Center, shows the license condition, OSS licenses and the system information such as firmware version or uninterrupted online running time and memory usage. The toolbar. Below the menu bar there is a toolbar which displays the 12 most frequently used functions, part of which I have already explained with the menu bar before. Only four new buttons are available here, referring to the grid display and snapping to grid options and the grid resolution. The grid resolution is a page individual parameter while the activation of the grid and the snap to grid options are global. Snap to grid has three options. First is off, then the grid is not displayed and you can move the icons freely. Half snap, left vertical and upper horizontal lines would snap and the others not and full snap then you have activated both options and wherever you pull your icons they will snap in.